Welcome everyone to this, our first ever virtual carol concert. Like the rest of the world, we've had to get used to doing things a little differently over what has been an eventful 2020, to say the least. However, Christmas remains an occasion for family, friends and loved ones to get together and to share some quality time with each other. This year, things may feel different for all of us, and now, more than ever, it is important to keep the message of Christmas as strong as it could ever be. And that message is a simple one. It's a message of love, friendship, and wishing good things to those near and far. And to get the season started for real, I hope you will enjoy our slimmed down version of what, for me certainly, is one of the highlights of the school calendar, our carol concert. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all those who have had a hand in producing this event. Mr. Lenehan, Mrs. Hamlin, Mr. Reeves and the pupils for the content, and my husband David for stringing together my rather ropey filming into something presentable. I'd also like to thank everyone for their forbearance and hard work in what has been a challenging term. Let's hope that 2021 sees a return to something closer to normal life for us all. In the meantime, have a wonderful Christmas, everyone. What Reminds You of Christmas by Ernstine Northover. A holly wreath hung on the door or presents strewn across the floor. Tall Christmas tree with baubles bright, which fills our heart with such delight. Carols sung out in the snow, a snowman built with eyes aglow. Crackers pulled, a song to sing, candles lit and bells that rang. Roasted turkey, which tastes divine. Rich fruitcake with an ice design. No, the most important reminder of all is the birth of a babe in an ox's stall. A song was heard at Christmas by Timothy Dudley. A song was heard at Christmas to wake the midnight sky, the Saviour's birth and peace on earth and praise to God on high. 
The angels sang at Christmas with all the hosts above, and still we sing the newborn King, his glory and his love. lights went out. The Christmas lights went out, the ones Dad just suspended. He took all day to hang them, but their gleamings promptly ended. I wonder how he'll take it when he steps out in the snow, to marvel at his handiwork, but find he's missed the show. The Christmas lights went out, and it's all dark on our lawn. One fleeting, fizzling moment, and his masterpiece is gone. I think I'll step inside now to avoid how he reacts when he finds one broken bowl in the middle of my tracks.
Light for Festive Candles by Aileen Lucia Fisher. Light for first of eight to nine, for Father's Candle to the right. Light for first and second two, when tomorrow's day is through. Then light three and then light four, every dust one candle more. Till all late burn bright and high, honouring a day gone by. So before we finish, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the pupils and the whole of the Gateways team for all of their hard work during this most peculiar and difficult year that we've all just been through. On behalf of the governors, may I wish all of our pupils, their families, the teachers and all the staff at Gateways a great Christmas holiday and a happy and healthy new year. Thank you very much.